TitleMatchNetwork.com. You guys were on the show. It was in Rochester, and they had a dark match with a guy named Tom McGee. Oh my God. Do you remember that? The legend has it that Vince was so impressed that he thought he found the next, like he found his next big oh, star. Oh my God. You know, Vince. Vince didn't look at guys' working ability. If he saw a guy with a good body, he'd go, oh, my God, look at that body. You know, this is like Ultimate Warrior. Guys that couldn't work, but they were all blowed up and big muscles and shit. And I remember Tom McGee and uh, didn't know him, though. But I remember how impressed Vince was with him. But he... He ended up falling on the wayside because he couldn't work, you know. You got to be able to work, you know, you get all that muscle-bound bullshit. You got to be able to work. You put a little something behind it. Another guy I wanted to mention that you wrestled a lot was Rick Martel. Yeah. You know, it wasn't just in the Strike Force team, but you, you wrestled as early as the mid-'70s in Atlanta, you know, way before he became the model. Yeah. Do you remember uh, Rick Martell? Always thought he was a, a good talent and yes. know, AWA champion at one time. Yes, he was a good in AWA. Yeah, he was. A, he was a good fellow. He had. He, he could work. He was good. He was Canadian. Nothing against that, but um, yeah, I remember Rick. We did a couple matches uh, after he became a model and. We actually had our, the match was on a cover of one of these VHS things, and uh, I was proud of that. Hey, I made the cover of, cover of the uh, VHF tape, and it was me and Rick on it. Good guy Rick was. And he was the strike force for Ohio Tito, right? Mm -hmm. So that was all good stuff. I didn't get too many covers on on videotapes, and uh, that was good. I enjoyed that. TitleMatchNetwork.com